You know, if you live in certain areas of South Memphis, you may be much more likely to get cancer. And we're learning new information tonight about a sterilization plant on Florida Street and the dangerous chemical that plant uses that's putting thousands of our neighbors mm -hmm. at risk. Well, for more on this, we're going to turn to Fox 13's health reporter, Mandy Rock. She's been following this story, in fact, for a number of months. Mandy, you went back to that neighborhood today. You talked with residents, but you also had a chance to look into the EPA in their investigation on this. Yeah, that's right. A sterilization Services of Tennessee uses ethylene oxide or ETO. It's a gas that can get into the air and into your lungs. The EPA has learned the chemical is linked to high cancer rates. The agency says ETO is 60 times more toxic in children and 30 times more toxic in adults than originally thought. These people lived in this area longer than I have and they are coming down with illnesses and it needs to be addressed. That's why Jacqueline Scott spends her days knocking on doors. She's educating her South Memphis neighbors about ethylene oxide, a hazardous gas that may be making them sick. I want to go around, ask people, do they have any concerns? What are their concerns? Or do they have any illnesses that they think may be connected to the ethylene oxide that's going on over in our, in our area? They live near the sterilization services of Tennessee plant on Florida Street. The facility uses ETO to sanitize medical equipment. The EPA is now investigating after learning the cancer causing chemical is much more toxic than they originally thought. We have learned that it is 60 times more toxic uh, in children that we initially thought and 30 times more toxic in adults. The EPA says long term exposure may be linked to cancer. Susan Hunter, a respiratory therapist at St. Francis Hospital, said breathing in gases like this may also lead to conditions like asthma and bronchitis. Anytime anybody is breathing a, any kind of odor over an extended period of time, they need to be asking questions and they need to be finding out from their medical physician, what can this do to me? The EPA expects to release a new rule in the coming months that would limit ETO emissions from plants like sterilization services. In the meantime, neighbors like Scott are cutting down on their time outside and masking up. At this rate, it's already in my system. Mm -hmm. I just do my daily, uh, yearly checks with my doctors and just that's it. That's all we can do. And the Shelby County Health Department is working with the Tennessee Department of Health on a cancer cluster study around the plant. When it's done, the health department plans to have a community meeting to share those results and recommend screening or prevention steps. Back to you. That is Fox 13's Mandy Rock reporting for us tonight. Thank you so much, Mandy.